M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. Thought I'd show you the frequency scanner on this Royage UV58 dual band and air band radio. So it's very simple. As far as I can see, it only does it on 70 centimeters. So you've got the PTT button and the button below has been set to be a frequency scanner, uh, which, is, which is in the settings, but let's just push it and hold it. it starts the frequency scan. But, and it's very quickly finding uh, like early bird that I caught. my all-star node. Now let's turn that off and put on a different frequency. So we do it again. So we push the PTT to come out, hold it down again. My all-star node is now turned off, so now it will search for anything it can find out. It's gone straight away to my, that's my DMR hotspot. So we'll turn off my hotspot and we'll grab one of my radios. We've got this set on 432000, so we'll go out, go back into scan. Obviously, you could be walking around. Let's, uh, let's just key up here. Look, straight away, it's found it. We're in digital mode there. Okay, let, let's try two meters, because I thought it wouldn't do it, but it might do it. Let's try it. So let's push scan again. Come out. Scan. It's now scanning. I notice it does do 220 megs. Whether that would actually work is another matter. Okay, it found that, whatever that is. Okay, let's get it scanning again, and I'll key up on 145000. So let's hold it. Scanning, and then we'll just do M0FXB test. Oh, it's found something already. Let's do that, then hold this again. So it doesn't seem to do two meters as far as I can see, but it's doing other frequencies. It's found that. I wonder if we can move it away from that. Push it again. And again. It's all going up to... I don't ever see it going to two, to two meters. Can we go down? Oh, look at that. None. No. Scan again. So yeah, you get the idea, but on 77s it seems to work fine. So bye for now, thanks for watching. These don't cost much. They're about, at the most, £40. I like them because they, I mean, they're a very nice size. Dual band. They've got different colours. They actually look better in real life. When, it, when they receive, they go this blue colour. Let's see if I can get it to receive. One, One four, four five. five. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So key there. Go blue with a green line. That's your meter. And it does actually go up and down if it's stronger. And the other thing it will do is when you put in the, the shift, the minus shift, or plus, you hold down the star button, you type it in, I quite like that. So if it was one, four, five, say it was a plus shift, one, one four, four, five, five six. six. Zero, zero. Come out of that. It's now got a shift in there, and when you key it goes red, and shows you there's a shift, and I think that looks really cool. I'm gonna test it on the air band as well. So bye for now, thanks for watching. Frequency scanner, Royage. Got programmable buttons here. A lot of these buttons are programmed. You, you can program it using software. And it actually charges USB C and it works. How do I know? Because I charged it up last night on my USB C. So you don't have to carry, you don't have to mess around with uh, cradle chargers. And yeah, it's just an AliExpress item. I'm sure it's on eBay. Those kind of, it's a budget toy, isn't it, for us hams? Nice, nice big LED. Bye for now. And just a single knob, really. I've got that blue button, which just looks good. 73, and it goes with the blue that's on the actual radio. 73, and you can do, you know, single mode as well. And it is dual receive, although it's not dual VFO.